Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Walla Walla, Washington with the uh, frauditor known as I Am Free Inland Auditing Media as he is once again trespassed from another school district. I mean, come on now, dude. How many does this make for you? What is your obsession with these schools? I know you say that you're doing this because people are emailing you about uh, certain conditions on the buses, but I think that's a bunch of BS. That's just your uh, little scam to try to get into these places, isn't it, dude? But at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back. Relax and enjoy the show. Yeah. No signs restricting access. Are you stupid or something? And that's the problem with these frauditing morons is, oh, there's no signs, so that must mean I can come right on in. It doesn't matter that there's a huge gate right there, or even a fence, or the fact that there are a bunch of uh, buses around which equate heavy machinery that, that is quite expensive and, well, needs to be protected from all the riffraff that might wander in there, such as yourself. But I know you don't have that capacity for that kind of uh, mental analysis. We all know how frauditors are. They're on a completely lower level of mental comprehension. I mean, I work with special needs children, and a lot th of them have uh, more common sense than any one of these frauditors. Hey, how's it going? Not too shabby. Hey, I was wondering if I could get a public records request form. Uh, so you would need to go to the district office for that one. I, I do not do Ooh. those, or we don't do those in the, this office here. Uh, you just got a blank piece of paper I could use in? Uh, I can give you that. <laughs> Great. Uh, yeah. yeah you know. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Oh yeah, FOIL request. Yeah, that's the legitimate reason why you are in a place you're not supposed to be. But hey, it'll be something for you to add to one of your many uh, non-existent lawsuits that you have going on there, isn't it? But let's just go ahead and skip to the point where it really starts to get interesting, shall we? Many, many minutes later. And then another question I had is uh, some condition issues I, I got an email that there were some allegations that there's some condition issues with the flooring on the bus so, like, so who are you with again myself and so what's with the camera and the oh it's just part of what i use for work and your work is i uh, working on stories for myself so and the mask is that for covid well, I mean, you can probably hear my sexy uh, Barry White voice right now. Unfortunately, I've got a cold, so yeah, that's what it's for. Not wanting to give anybody else a cold. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm just curious about. The report that I got was that people are saying, or some people, very few, but some people are saying, hey, there's some uh, problems with the floorboards on the bus. So, like, if you. Oh, okay. So you're trespassing on school grounds based on the supposed emails of other people that say there's a problem with the uh, buses. Well, uh, have you thought about taking it up with the school board at the uh, meetings that tend to pop up from time to time? Or did you even bother to think about that? Or better yet, do these emails have any evidence whatsoever, such as pictures, video, or anything like that that can demonstrate these accusations, I mean, you gotta have the evidence to back up these accusations. Otherwise, you got nothing. To walk onto the bus and then walk down the aisle to get to a seat that some of the buses have condition issues with the you, flooring. Do you have a bus number? No, I was not given a bus number, unfortunately. That's why I'm, I'm just kind of starting with 
generally speaking, does that sound anything? So no, but I, but I'm open as a book if you would like to go look at a bus. But if you don't have a bus number, then yeah, I, I wasn't I wasn't given a bus number. I can tell you that uh, Washington State Patrol inspects our buses twice a year. Okay. Um, in the summertime, they do every single bus out here. Okay. And then in the wintertime, they do 20%. Uh, that's a, that's a 11. They randomly pick 11 buses and they go through them. Hmm. And we pass at 100%. Okay. So no out of service buses. I've actually heard that from some other, it's interesting you mentioned that because I've heard that from actually some other school districts. But on the other hand, I have with other school districts, you're very forthcoming with that. Other school districts have not said that at all. So, okay, uh, you just admitted that this is a bunch of BS to begin with because you just stated that the email did not contain the bus number or the location or anything like that. It was just some random person that emailed you over this. So you know what you're full of? Bullshit! Bullshit! Oh, and what's your name? Uh, Steve. Steve? Yeah, just, just Steve. Well, I mean, if you're not willing to be forthright with me, then this interview is probably going to be over. Oh, really? How come? Well, because I don't know what you're doing here. Just working on something. Okay. Have a great day. Wow. So, sir, is there anything else that you wanted to comment on about? Or Here, let me show you where the door is. Right this way. Oh, hey. Right this way, please. Hey, you're touching me. No, I'm asking you. You need to, to back off. Do I'm you asking you to leave the premises. I'm not leaving the premises. The on the phone, it's Maggie. a public. Maggie, yes. give okay. me, give me the police, please. Don't ever touch me. Please man. exit. Okay. Please exit. I'm not. I have business to conduct here. The no, is I do. No, your it's business gone. has been concluded. Thank you. How do you know that? Because I'm asking you to leave. You can't tell me when I can do my business, not during open hours. Sir. Okay. Please. You understand? Please. I'm, I'm asking you to leave. I have business to do here. Okay. Oh, nowhere in the uh, statutes of uh, Washington State does it mention anywhere in the trespassing law that it has to be based upon the uh, open hours of the uh, building. So which leaves me to believe you'd never bother to look up the trespassing laws to begin with, which basically means you are just another frauditor who is pretty much uneducated and unemployable because of their own, well, issues with intelligence. A little longer than a few minutes later. Uh, Alright, well they're involved? requesting that you trespass at the... For what? What crime they, do they commit? They don't have to have a crime, it's a private property. They can... It's private property. Well, the school district can trespass. For any reason? Want. Yes. Even if you're doing public record so, requests? Uh, so I asked if you're finished with your paperwork, so... Are you finished with your paperwork? I am. I also need to petition. Okay, well, what do you need to petition? Seek redress of grievances. Okay, well... It's one of the five Have things. you submitted your paperwork? No, I'm getting ready to do it. So am I going to be allowed to petition or not? Are you guys trespassing me before I petition? Uh, you can file petition paperwork remotely if you need to. If I can't petition them, in person? If that's for them, you can go ahead and give it to I them. I can't petition in person? Uh, you can do it by mail because we're going to be trespassing you as soon as you're done. Well, looky what we've got here. Another frauditor with a massive persecution complex and a piss poor understanding of at the actual laws. So your typical moronic frauditor type, and probably one with a uh, at least a uh, two-page uh, list of criminal offenses that he's got on his uh, books. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that. Paperwork. Oh. So you won't be able to physically be here. Who, who's actually doing the trespass? Is it him? Nope, it's actually uh, Dr. Smith, Wade Smith. Well, well, All right, schools. so I'm being trespassed? Yep. Okay, and obviously if I don't leave, I'd be under arrest. Correct. Okay. Would you like to provide identification? Ooh, no. All right. no, no, no. Well, of course not. I'm sure he wouldn't want to provide his ID because that might show the cops that, oh, well, he has a massive criminal record and that he's not one that should be allowed on school property to begin with. Yeah, that might be the best reason why he won't show his ID. And you know what? He went straight to the police department after this to try to get the trespass reversed, and it didn't exactly work out for him in his favor. Boy, oh boy, what a freaking moron. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you playing cereal? Who's that?